Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace, love, and salutation to all you Akim out there that's pushing this truth and truth sincerity. Um, this lesson is titled uh, Beware of Satan before, during, and after the Passover because this is the time that Satan is using his uh, left handed side energy to influence the world. Because, you know, Satan knows what, what today is, all right? Today, um, <clears throat> at sundown, is the Pesach, the Passover, all right? This is uh, commemorating our deliverance from Egypt, all right? Our, the first Egypt, Lord willing, we be part of that number that gets saved from the second Egypt. And also, it's sacrificial of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, sacrificing himself for the elect of the nation of Israel. So it's a really heavy night. But meanwhile, Satan is lurking out here. And uh, what I got on the screen is a prayer, a basic, uh, well, a rebuke, basically a basic rebuke of rebuking Satan, just quick and to the point. It says, and Yah, which means I, Gair, which means rebuke, Atha is you, Shatan is Satan, Bahashem in the name, Yahweh of the Heavenly Father, Bahashem in the name, uh, Yahweh Shai of the only begotten son, Bahashem in the name, Raka, which is the spirit, and Kodash is holy. So I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of the only begotten son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right. And Yah, Gair, Ata, Shatan, Bahashem Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. So this is a quick prayer for you, Akim, out there. If you got a. Um, you know, pause the screen, go ahead and do so and write this down because, all right, Satan is getting busy out here, all right? And he's uh, testing brothers, all right? We had a brother in our camp who got into a car wreck yesterday with a little fender bender after doing a lesson, a live stream with a brother, man. So Satan is definitely lurking out here, man, all right? And like brother's been mentioning, you know, time to get those last minute prayers in. You know, if you offended any, if you felt like you've offended a brother or, you know, uh, you know, you know, call the brother right now, all right? You know, it's the time to get the living out the way. Of course, it's the time to get that physical living out the way, getting the bread and, and the yeast products, the sodium bicarbonates at your house, but also that, that spiritual living, all right? Whether, you know, be slothfulness or, you know, you know, if you felt like you've offended a brother or if you felt like a brother has offended you, you know, go to that man because we're in that time where Satan is about to get busy, all right? Meanwhile, you know, two thirds of uh, our people are out here, you know, committing uh, wickedness, man. So, without further ado, 1 Peter 5 and 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he, whom he may devour. And Satan's already got these people out here, man. The fact that there's only gonna be a small remnant that's gonna come into this solemn assembly to pass over speaks volumes because Satan got the most of these people, all right? Our people are not con uh, concerned about the Passover. They just got done ce celebrating St. Patrick's Day and looking forward to the next folly day. Meanwhile, this is a high, holy, spiritual day for the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, we be part of that number. So you got to watch Satan in your actions, man. <clears throat> I mean, excuse me, you got to watch Satan. Well, yeah, you got to watch Satan in your actions, man. All right? You got to... You gotta, uh, Continue to uh, examine yourself, like it says in 2 Corinthians 13. All right, you got to put on the spiritual armor. You got to be able to to defend yourself against the walls of the devil, man. All right, because you know he's bugging these people out in front of you. You know somebody might try to get to a fight with you or say something under their breath or say, you know, you know how people be, man. They try to say something sly on the fly, man. All right, we got to be spiritually equipped to deal with this, man. Somebody at your job might be getting your nerves. Like I mentioned, you know the brother. You know, was do, just got done doing a lesson with another brother, and then he got to a fender bender. So uh, Satan is out here. And I can remember last year, after we came out the Passover from last year, there was an incident within, you know, our camp that led us to uh, shaking the dust off that place, man, because Satan, he couldn't penetrate the Akium, all right? So he had to find an outside influence to, uh, you know, to mess with us, man, all right? So you got to be... Uh, Circumspect of Satan, man. All right. This is James uh, 4 and uh, 7. It says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. 
resist the devil and he will flee. Let's look at that word submit. <clears throat> All right. Uh. Strong's G, 5293. Hupatasso. Hupatasso. All right, Hupatasso. To arrange under, to subordinate, to subject, put a subjection. So be in subjection to the Most High. To subject oneself to obey. Obey, all right? This is the time where, you know, we are to obey the Most High. And, you know, it comes through orders of men. You know, certain men you got to stay away from. All right, certain situations you got to stay away from. All right? You got to be in order. So basically say, obey yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. All right? You got to obey orders that's coming down from the Spirit. All right? You got <clears> to <throat> watch over your own spirit. All right? Because this is a time... Even during the Feast of Unleavened Bread, this is a time to keep purging, man. All right? To keep purging. You know, renew yourself. We're, we're in the new year right now. You know, everything is springing up. So it's a time to renew yourself, renew the energy. Um, keep renewing your spirit daily, you know. And that comes with, you know, rebuking Satan, sending up prayers. All right? Fasting. Uh, reading. Uh, fellowshipping with brothers. going, Doing the lessons. Doing the work. That comes with renewing your mind as well. All right? So, um, I'm going to go to Deuteronomy, um, 32 and, uh, 17, it says, they sacrificed unto devils, not to the most high, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. And that's, that's two thirds of our people, man, sacrificing their, themselves to money, to Cheshire Borgia to Allah, to Buddha, to Jehovah, to Jesus, all right, so on and so forth, man, Obe uh, sacrificing themselves to Esau, all right, we're, you know, we're, we're not, we're not on that, on that level, man, but there's always, you know, Satan is always putting his energy in these people to mess with you, man, because little do they know they're sacrificing uh, to Baal, man, all right, the scriptures say we are the light of the world, so we can't follow in the like manner of these people, you know, it's getting warm outside, you know, demons are starting to fester up, all right? That adultery spirit is out here, too. You know, these women are walking around here with scantily clad clothes on in a minute. That spirit is going to be out here. The, the, the spirit of party, partying and reveling and living your best life. That's what happens when you sacrifice, sacrifice yourself to devils, man, all right? And two-thirds of our people are going to get caught up. That's why it's important to keep on purging, man, because the Lord is finna do something out here seriously. I don't know. Well, I don't know, depending on what state that you live in, but last night, that moon was heavy, man. All right? If you saw the moon last night, there was actually a circle around the moon. The Lord is finna make some moves out here, man. So it's best for us to stay in the spirit and keep purging, man, because the Lord is finna make a move, man. And and there's always something, just, there's, always, there's always a lot of judgment that happens after the Passover, man. So we got we to, you know, man, the hell with that. We got to be uh, in a righteous spirit, man. All right. <clears throat> so um, I'm going to go to. I want to go to Ecclesiasticus. All right. So like Ecclesiasticus chapter 33 and one. There shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Lord. But in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. All right. So you have to have that mind frame that the Lord is going to deliver you from the temptations that Satan is putting out here. And that comes with trusting in the Lord, not in your own understanding and continue to uh, pray to the Lord, praying for protection. As soon as you leave the door, you should be praying to the Lord to protect you out here in this, this satanic world. man. All right. Because once you step out of the confines of your house, you're on Satan's playground. man. All right. And there's one more scripture. I don't want to make this too long, but just beware of Satan before, during, and after Passover. You know, always keep an eye on Satan, all right, through his uh, physical manifestation here on earth, Esau and two-thirds, because they're they're uh, under the satanic influence of, of Satan. Beware, beware of those demonic influences, all right? So this is Ecclesiastes 33 and 14. Good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly, okay? Good is set against evil, all right? Set against, all right? It combats the evil. And 
um, Salakia. I should have looked at a um, satanic calendar. But, you know, Satan is about to get busy. Matter of fact, I'm going to pause it and try to see if I can find one. All right, so here we go. Um, you got um, March 1st, which is St. Eichhart Day. That's the satanic day of uh, drinking blood. All right, you got the eyes of March. That's why you see uh, what happened with um, <clears throat> what happened in New Zealand, man. All right, with that sacrifice going on. It doesn't say anything about a sacrifice, but you can pretty much tell to the spirit a sacrifice went on during that day. And then here we go, March 20th, which is so-called tomorrow, which is the spring equinox, the Shabbat festival on the left-hand side, a major fertility shadow. So there's going to be a lot of orgies going on, oral, anal, and vaginal whether it be male or female, human or animal. So that's why you see that sexual energy going out throughout springtime. Women, uh, I saw, you know, you see women, it, it's, I mean, it's starting to warm up, but you see women out here scantily clad. Like I said, that spirit of, of adultery is going out here. You know, they starting to play these songs with this dem demonic sexual vibration out here. So good is set against evil, man. Good is always going to combat the evil. So I just wanted to put that out there, uh, you know, once again. I'm going to read this scripture. Ecclesiastes 33 and 14. Good is said against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. All right. So good is always going to prevail against evil. So like I said, through the spirit. All right. Watch out for Satan before, during, and after the Pesach. So with that, I want to say Shalom.